Attorney General and Minister of Legal Affairs Anil Nandlal on Tuesday said that he was in the process of making an application for a stay of the order made by the Chief Justice, which declared the appointment of Vikash Ramkisun and Sarah Brown as members of Parliament unlawful. His comments came hours after the APNU AFC parliamentary opposition criticized Speaker of the National Assembly, Mansoor Nadir, for failing to declare the seats of the two MPs vacant. But Nandla believes that the two MPs who sit as non-voting members following their appointment as parliamentary secretaries must continue to sit in the National Assembly. The Chief Justice did not grant any coercive orders for the removal of the MPs from the House. However, she noted that in her ruling that it cannot be accepted that they sit in the National Assembly as non-voting members, pointing out that they were on the list of candidates for the governing People's Progressive Party Civic at the 2020 elections. Nandla said these were mere declaration, and in his view, the Chief Justice did not quash their appointments, and as such, they continue to be parliamentary secretaries. The issue is now whether they can sit in the House as non-voting MPs. What the Chief Justice said is because they were on the list, they cannot be seated in the National Assembly. But there is nothing wrong with putting two chairs at the side and put them to sit, because where, where would they sit? They are parliamentary secretaries. They are secretaries to the parliament. And that is where they belong. Nandla said the two parliamentarians do not have the voting rights and will not participate in the business of the House but insists that a space must be found for them to sit there. They will be present, he asserted. Meanwhile, when contacted and asked for a response to the criticisms leveled against him, Speaker Nadir declined to discuss the matter in the press. So whoever wants to write and complain, they're free to do so. I don't have to engage. Right. Right? There are two assumptions there. One, Obviously, no action was taken. I don't know, but obviously, you don't know what's happening in Parliament. Right. The opposition doesn't know. Mm -hmm. So, and then the second issue is, I am not going to conduct my business of the National Assembly in the press. Right. So, but, so, so you don't intend to say at this time what you've done since the ruling? I said what I want to say, Kurt. Brown is the Parliamentary Secretary to the Amarindian Affairs Ministry, while Ram Kisun is the Parliamentary Secretary to the Agriculture Ministry. The law makes provision for the president to appoint four technocrat members of parliament and two parliamentary secretaries who will not have the same voting rights as elected members extracted from a list of candidates. The legal challenge was mounted by opposition chief whip Christopher Jones, a case that Nandlal defended. It was expected that in granting the relief sought by Jones and his attorney, opposition parliamentarian Roysdale Ford, the Speaker of the National Assembly would have taken steps to prevent Brown and Ram Kassoon from sitting in or participating in the business of the National Assembly. The entire decision is being appealed on the grounds that the Chief Justice misinterpreted and misconstrued the law in arriving at her decision. The Attorney General said the ruling is erroneous.